All right, in this video, we're going to go over just the, the little remaining pieces about the accountant's copy. Um, some quick little tips there. So I just wanted to finish up here. So first of all, if you're going to open or convert a file, transfer file, this is something that you can do uh, when the client sends you the file, if you're the accountant. All the client's activities are down here. Okay. Um, import accountant's changes. Right now I have an accountant's copy out and open, so it's saying you can import accounts changes. If I didn't have an accounts copy f out and pending, it would these would be open and these two would be grayed out. Okay, convert accounts copy to a company file. This is again on the accountant's side um, that they would do these things uh, if they wanted to be able to mess with transactions in the current period or they did not want to ever send their accounts changes back, you can convert it to a .qbw file. But again, as an accountant, once you do that, you cannot send any changes back to the client. You could only send the full qbw file back, or the backup of the qbw, okay? Client activities. The biggest one that you want to stay away from, as long as your accountant really does have a good accountant's copy out, you want to stay away from this remove restrictions. But if you have accidentally sent your accountant an accountant's copy and they don't plan on sending you anything back, they're just using it to do your taxes, whatever the case may be, you want to come in here and remove your restrictions. What that's going to do is it's going to open up prior year data for you now. So that dividing date that you set, the one we set, 1231 in the other video, that dividing date, you're now going to be able to enter transactions prior to that date or change tr transactions prior to that date if you remove these restrictions, okay? So if your accountant's not going to send you anything back, and make sure, because what will happen is if you remove these restrictions and they're planning on sending you back some changes, any changes they make, any work they do, will not come back to your file, okay? But for the purposes of this demo, we're going to go ahead and remove these restrictions. All right, so again, it gives you a uh, big notice. Make sure that your accountant is not working on anything for you. <laughs> and you have to check mark, yes, I want to remove the accounts copy restrictions and say OK. And then it just goes away. So now I'll have access to those, um, to recording transactions or modifying things prior to that dividing date.